Dollar Tree haul for you today. If you guys saw my last one, I saw officially hit $1.25. Really sad. I will say I find myself going a lot less. In a way, it's better for me. Saving more money. You know, I'm not taking up as much space in my home. I mentioned that video how it's really having me shop intentionally. But I did have to go. I wanted to check out the spring section. Like you guys know. And if you don't, you can definitely check out that video. But I have now moved into a home that I am renting. So I'm really excited that I have a garden and a front porch. And oh my god. Uh, Massachusetts finally hit 70 for the first time in a long time, very, very long time on Friday. And I enjoyed myself so much. I grabbed a book. I sat on the porch and I read for three hours and enjoyed the sunshine. Cannot wait to keep doing that some more. Me and Joe are going to invest in a grill and we're going to buy one of those fold out tables so we can enjoy ourselves in the backyard this summer. I am so looking forward to that. So anyway, I went into Dollar Tree with the purpose of shopping in the spring section so i have mostly spring items to show you and some easter items so let's get right into it i will show you three things that are for the school very quickly i noticed this right at cash out uh if you guys don't know i work at a school i work with um autistic children um so i always buy little treats for them um so i have one child specifically who loves the disney princesses and she is able to grasp a marker and color because i will say about half i have nine students in my classroom and i will say only four of them can probably do that they all get like services ot speech things like that but one in particular um absolutely loves the disney princesses and she loves to color so this is just a cute little grab and go pack these are perfect if you're like about to go on a road trip especially with summer coming around because it's it's you know small and compact and it literally says it comes with three markers a sticker sheet and a 24 page coloring book and you can see that right here the coloring book the stickers and the markers so i grabbed that for her for the dollar 25 and then i grabbed these two i thought this was some games that the kids can all play together i saw this on crafty girls youtube you guys know how much i love her if you're like dollar tree um video she does them daily almost and it says be the first to unscramble the celebrity oh so this might not be super easy for them this is one i could even keep for home get ready for the ultimate tongue twisting word mashup game these scrambled celebrities will entertain your friends and family and keep you laughing for hours like i said this was at cash out so i kind of just grabbed them and threw them on the counter i didn't look too much but like so for example you see that right there all the mixed up letters you have to try to figure out what celebrity that is and then boom there's the answer did any of you guys get that did you get justin bieber so i think that's pretty cool even for a little game night at home. And then this one says, say what card game? Unscramble the babble. These frantic phonetics will make you babble along as you try to sound out the sentences without melting your brain or twisting your tongue. Do you have what it takes to unscramble the babble? Oh, okay. So like it says, and it's a snack. You know, I, I'm trying to think of the name of that game. You guys know what it is where you put that piece in your mouth and it makes you sound funny. It's the same concept, except now you don't have to put anything in your mouth. It's like all scrambled up. But then if you keep saying it and saying it, you'll or p people might pick up that it's actually I need a snack. So these this is say what junior specifically for kids. So now that I look at it, this is not games my kids can play, unfortunately, because most of them do not speak. Um, but I can keep it for my house. And it's a cute concept if you do have young kids that do have that ability. Um, you know what I mean? So I figured I could just show you guys. Let's still make use of it. If I had known, I don't know if I would have bought it. Only because I am trying to, like I said, be more intentional with my money. This one is ages six plus, three plus players. And the mishmash celebrity, it's a little bit harder, so it says 12 plus. But you know what? This is kind of cute. Like if me and Joe go on a road trip or something this summer, I could even, you know, it's a quick little game we can play. And <coughs> maybe not the celebrity one because you have to be able to look at the card. But this one, I can just read it and he can drive and not need to look at the card and guess it. But even like in the hotel room or whatever, you know, you don't have to carry a big game. You can bring one of these. So definitely still not a bad pickup for the dollar twenty five. And then some of the Easter items I got. Oh, this was right at cash out too. Um, I just really been wanting gum lately. The black raspberry twist. It looked really good. So I grabbed it. And then I grabbed two signs. Um, I say all the time, I'm trying to be a very, I've, even before I went up to $1.25, I used to buy so many of these. And I said, wait, what, where am I putting these? They were just so cute. I couldn't help myself. So now I only allow myself like one or two because I have two doors. I have a front door and a side door. So I bought one and it's hanging on the front door. So one of these is going to go on the side door. And then I have a wreath on my front door. 
on the outside the happy easter is hanging on the inside so i'm thinking i might put one of these in the center of the wreath if it fits if not i can always hang this on the side door one on the outside and one on the inside if that makes any sense to you guys so i let myself get two so this one says happy easter in and i love that it's all the spring colors you get the pink background and it looks like the faux wood with the little lines here and happy easter's in glitter and the bunnies are in glitter too i don't know if you guys can see that so i like it it's a nice touch sometimes they go a little too crazy with the glitter but it looks good here and then you have the standard you know spring colors you get the pink you get the pink background the purple bunny the blue bunny and the yellow bunny and they're in gingham which is really popular and i love this little 3d bunny tail effect i actually have dish towels right now i got from target um i did film a target haul so it should be up before this one because i try to post an order so i will link it down below if not check out my playlist but i love when there's like little 3d effects to it so i love this and bought it and then this one i thought was so classic looking thrifty not thrifty tiffany sorry that's another dollar tree youtuber i love crafty girl shared this one she actually shared all three she had the one with the blue background that said easter market this was actually my least favorite of three but it is still very pretty I, and i love that it's like framed it's so beautiful uh the the other one had a pink background and it said like bunny trail, I think. And then there was one, I think it was a yellow background and a cotton tail or something like that. Really cute. All three of them were really, really cute. I prefer the other two more than this one, but I still really like this one. So I got it. So that was the two Easter signs I got. Um, I don't have like children, so I don't really have to do easter baskets or anything um i did make easter baskets last year for my cousin technically i made it for my mother my mother gave me the money i shopped for them i'm not sure if i'm doing that for her this year i have to talk to her um you know we all got limited funds right now life is getting expensive so i'm not sure if she's planning on doing that this year but i do like showing you guys like the cool easter basket finds but like i said i'm not gonna buy things just to show you guys uh definitely check out dollar tree i'm sure all you guys know this if you're watching this video you probably love dollar tree as much as me they have amazing easter basket finds i did do a haul um it's like i said it should be posted before this one because i usually do post an order i did buy some of those things for my students like it was like slime and like really cool pickups like that but it was like examples of what you could buy there to put in your East in easter baskets it's so cool all right so this is mostly the spring stuff i bought two of these wired baskets i have two little hooks on my front porch i am wait. i have to go buy some plants I went by the store today and there still wasn't any. It might still be a little too early. Um, I'm not, where do you guys think I should go? Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart. I've never bought outdoor plants before, so you tell me where you think is best. But I thought this would be really cute to hang from that hook on my porch. And I could put the plants I buy in here. So I grabbed two of these for $1.25. And you guys can get creative with these. You can even put make this a fruit basket. Honestly, if you have a corner that you can like put a ceiling hook into like how cute would that be or get rid of this completely get rid of the wire and you just have a cute basket you know it doesn't have to be used for its intended purpose but that's what i got it for and then i grabbed these two this is the two colors i saw the plastic watering steak so i thought this would be really cool to put in each plant outside on my porch i can just refill this flip it in put it and it's a, it's a really cool like just decor and it's functional so that way i don't have to keep like you know watering as much i feel like that helps hold the water in a bit more because it pours it out as it needs it and then i grab these two just in case um because i'm not sure if i buy a plant if it's already gonna come with some kind of basket and it might not fit in those if not i could always use that for something else but i bought just the plant hangers on their own um because i also do have two hooks above in my kitchen on the ceiling above my kitchen island so uh, i was like you know i'm gonna get these two just in case um because that's the one thing with dollar tree you know, i'm trying to talk more intentionally it's like sometimes the th items disappear very quickly so i grabbed that i mean it's very strong metal I i'm sure i can use this for something even if i don't use it for that intended purpose so i grabbed it and then the last but not least, I grabbed the new solar lights for spring. They are so, so beautiful. I grabbed six. Because like I've said before, 
I have two patches of dirt, one on the left side of my porch and one on the right side of my porch. So when I buy steaks, I do, I usually do three and three or four and four, depending on what colors and options they have. So they had three different colors. How beautiful are these? It literally looks like spring flowers. I found these to be absolutely gorgeous. So I got two of each color. So I got two yellow, two purple, and two pink. I'm going to put three on one side and three on the other. And it'll be perfect because it'll catch the light all day and then light up at night and it'll light up the front of my house. So I was like, oh, I have to get those. I think that's everything, yeah. So the only thing left in the bag was the other three. The same three. In the, the same other three. You know, the pink, the purple, the yellow. So that is everything I got from Dollar Tree. I spent less than 30 bucks. It was like 26 I think. Because like I said, I am trying to shop more intentionally. I literally only went in that little front section of the store. I didn't even go into the store. Um, because, you know, we all got to save money. Unless you're rich. <laughs> um... You know, I ended up owing on my taxes this year and the cost of living going up is like kind of really stressing me out. So I'm really trying to be just more intentional and frugal and all that stuff. But I still want to film for you guys when I do shop. So definitely still um, keep following along on this journey. If you're not subscribed to me, subscribe. I will still be doing Dollar Tree hauls, just not as many. I literally have like 60 videos on my channel though. So if you want to watch what I used to buy a Dollar Tree all the time, you can. Some of them are really long. Oh, my Christmas videos. I got so many stocking stuffers. They had so much good stuff. I love this store. I really do. And when I do have to buy things, I will definitely 100% show you what I buy. You know, one day I will have kids. I will be making them Easter baskets. And I can show you guys the Easter basket finds. But right now, that is not something I need. Um, you guys tell me, have you been making changes for the new year? Are you trying to save more, spend less, be more frugal, be more intentional? Or are you just, you know... If something calls to you you buy it i get it life is short too um but that is it for this video so like i said if you like dollar tree hauls if you like unboxings because i still get even though i cancel a lot of boxes i still get fab fit fun i still get walmart beauty i still get goldie box i'm still getting mystery boxes from time to time not super often but i do want to start branching out i did just move into this home i plan on filming i'm hoping to film the room tours on my april vacation from work and then after that, I think I want to start branching out and showing you guys different style videos and debating on starting some vlogs, maybe, uh, maybe some cooking videos and journaling videos. I'm not 100% sure yet where I want to go, but I definitely don't want to be just the haul channel anymore since I am going to be shopping less. If any of that interests you, definitely consider subscribing, hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload. Um, comment down below, like I said, tell me what your 2022 goals were. Are you meeting them? I know I'm really trying to do that. Have you guys seen the really cool Easter finds, the spring finds? I think this is literally my favorite find of the day. Um, I always love conversing with you guys down below. If you like Dollar Tree, if you like me, you like hauls, definitely give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. But that is it for this video, guys. Be safe.